What the crap? Changed all this, but apparently doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let's see if that works. Apparently this is life. Let's see who's here. How do I do that? Can I go to my channel? Um here, here, how do I go to life? Oh! Here I am. Life. Can I go to my channel? Uh, yes, I can. Oh, this is even... And then we go... I'll, I'll be with you guys. Um, we're gonna go take the quality down here. Good. Um, who do we have? We have the Bozo, the Daniela, the Pedro, uh, the Kari, someone from China, the Johan, the Rob. Hey, Rob. Who's also in China. Uh, the Murph. Judge Fred's here. Hey, Judge, where's that roasted maple guitar that, um, you know, the bearded man promised me? Come on, come on, get it here. We need new guitars. You know that. Okay. Um, some people are coming in. Hey, David from Connecticut. What I want to do... Here we go. What I want to do is I wanted to play with Luna. Wait, am I recording... This on the hard drive. I am recording it on the hard drive. That's good. Um, Susa is here. Hello, Sue. Um, <laughs> judge, yes, you're the law, but you're also the man with my guitar. Come on! You know what I'm talking about. You know? Oz in the roasted, you know. Um, Moin aus Stuttgart. Everything is well. There's no Rona here yet. Um, what I want to do is explore Luna from Universal Audio. And I thought I might sit here and play around with it and fiddle with it and try to find out what it is. Or I could do that with all of you present. And kind of maybe give you an idea of what this thing is about. I had no idea what it was about when I was at NAMM. Um, but apparently... The idea is, I thought it's something that they sell, and a really good DAW will cost you money. Uh, I don't know how much logic is, but that's of course only Apple, uh, which is kind of already the dongle for it. Uh, but that's 200, 250, something like this. Uh, I know that the big version of Cubase that I've been working with for a long time is about 500. Um, uh, and then there's uh, Presona Studio One, which is also in the big version, not cheap. So a high-end DAW will cost you real money. And I thought that's what they're doing. But that's not what they're doing. What they're actually doing... Hey, Legion aus Hannover. Hallo, aus Bremen. Hey, Turek. So apparently what they're doing is they're giving away their super high-end interface for free. Uh, not interface, their super high-end DAW. Uh, but obviously... It only works with the hardware. So what they want to do is they want to entice you to buy the hardware, which is amazing. So for me, it makes a lot of sense because um, I have an Apollo 8 in the rack. I have an Apollo X4 right there and I have an Apollo uh, satellite. So uh, the uh, outboard processing, I have an octo and a quad. So I have a lot of outboard processing power. I've got 18 cores. I've got eight mic inputs. I also have... Um, a Universal Audio 4710D, which can give me another four high-end preamps, a light pipe into the system. So I have a whole Universal Audio system, and the Luna apparently is meant to work beautifully with that hardware. And pretty much only with that hardware, if I understand that. I don't think you can use Luna with anything else, otherwise why give it away for free? They want to sell you the hardware. Now, there was a good reason to buy the hardware to begin with, because it's great. Their plugins are amazing. Their unison preamps are killer. The, un the, the amps they have, killer. As when it comes to effects, it's amazing. But the plugins aren't cheap. But they are the best there is. Now, if 
on top of the interface with the X4, we're looking at 1799 or the uh, Apollo Twin Mark, who knows what, the X uh, Duo is 899 and the Quad is, I think, 1299. They're not inexpensive interfaces, but if you're getting software on top, which would otherwise cost you, I don't know, 300 to 500 bucks, all of a sudden you're getting a lot of extra uh, delivered with it. So I want to look at it, and I've never looked at it. I just installed it. Um, and I've worked with Cubase for 30 years. I had a look at Logic for 10 minutes and it bugged me. Um, I've worked with Studio One for a little bit, which is similar to Cubase in the way that it handles. I need Cubase for my drum programming. I will probably not go away from Cubase. Cubase is, when it comes to uh, writing and composing, it's the tool because of the drum editor and the MIDI ed editors. I'm pretty sure that Luna is an audio focused software. It's a production environment versus a writing environment. I know it has MIDI, I know it has virtual instruments, but it is primarily a production environment. Uh, it might be cool to use for my videos, where I'm only recording a couple of audio tracks and I'm not actually producing music. But the point is, I have all this hardware, I want to look at it. Now I'm going to look at what you're saying. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, Reaper is only 60 bucks, but Reaper is also, I think Reaper, isn't Reaper free? But it's also, I don't know, I've never played with it, but I think it's, uh, <laughs> Sue, you're dirty. Um, Jason Wall, couple on, do your thing. I'm recording this uh, in, in, in 4K so you can watch it later. Um, I didn't really want to make this a stream, but then I was like, well, I've got the hardware people are streaming right now, so let's do it. Um, you need to know what you're seeing back there is a 1080 resolution. It is 4K resolution, but it is showing in a 1080 frame. That's the only way I can do this. So when things all of a sudden look a little bit bigger, know that if you have a... Mac, well, it's only Mac compatible. That's what you got to know about Luna. Hmm. Uh, then, and you're running it on an iMac, you're going to have the beautiful 5K resolution uh, in Luna. But for now, we're looking at it in 1080. So I got to call it up. I got to fire. Oh, there it is. So I've never done this. Um, I've never... Oh, Reaper is not free. I didn't know that. Um, well, if you have a universal audio interface, Luna is free. And if you love Luna, then getting a universal audio interface, then the choice is easier. X just placed himself next to me. He's pretty hot. It's warm outside. So, I'm opening it. Let's see. You can see what I'm doing. Well, thank you, Sue. I'm getting paid by the ladies. That sounds wrong. Um, so you can see all these warnings. Um, I would assume that Luna is working with audio units. It's definitely working with its own plugin format, and 90% of the plugins I use are universal audio plugins, so I'm not going to have any problem with third-party plugins. But, um, oh, I have to log in with my... Mm -hmm. Uh, I think, isn't it my email? Oh, you can't see that anyway. Good! <laughs> my big head is in front of it. That should be it. Remember me. Invalid login. Uh, everyone's got their own thing. Apparently not. What the crap? I don't understand. Well, we're gonna have to do that. Um, I'm gonna go to... Not Chroma, Super Soros. Uh, 
We're going to change that to an empty one for a second while I try to retrieve my password. I'm signed in here. I don't understand. Kiko, you just woke up? It's freaking noon. I know where you live. Okay, we're gonna try this. I reset my password at Universal Audio. And now we're gonna try Duna again. So here we're gonna go back to Mac. There we are. With my email. Which you can't see, which is good. Okay. Do you have an iLock account? Why do I need an iLock account? Apparently I need an iLock account. I don't know what my iLock ID is. This is already pretty annoying. Why? Why? I'm gonna look for iLock. I don't know. Okay. The license manager. I have something there. I don't know what it is. Now I gotta find out what my iLock ID is. Isn't the fact that I have the hardware kind of proof that I can use this? Okay, apparently I've got a password there too, which I don't know what it is. Okay, that's not the correct password. Oh, the games, the games. Okay, here we go. Ah, for Steven Slate. So, what is my iLock ID? I have no idea about iLock version number. That doesn't help me. Show details. How do I find my iLock ID? Does anyone know? Can anyone help me? Oh really, it doesn't work with the X4 USB? That doesn't make sense. Um, I, I thought it would work with, you know. Anyway, so what the crap is my iLock ID? No, that's not what I'm looking for. It's asking for my iLock ID. I am in iLock, but it should preferences. Licenses, network, my connections, host, I have no idea, server name, nope. Uh -huh. iLock ID. You would think that in the iLock license manager, you find your iLock ID. That's a serial, owned by me, that's fine. Is that it? I have no idea. Let's try that. I have an iLock account. This is already great. This is already not happening. Can anyone help me? You think it's HP? You think that's my ID? 
I don't think so. That was my username. No, see? What? Really? Really? Um... Re but I, I, had, I had just punched that in. That doesn't make any sense. I have no clue why it wants to connect with iLock. That's annoying. Morning, Simon. <laughs> the iLock professional. Thank you. Now, oh, wait a second. I have to turn this hard drive on, right, X? Um, so it finds apparently my BFD samples. So for the ones that just came in, what I'm doing is I'm opening Luna from Universal Audio for the first time um, and see how complicated it is. To get it running, I've worked with Cubase for 30 years. I know my way around DOS. So the question is, having worked with the Universal Audio infrastructure because I have an Apollo 8, I have an Apollo X4, I have a twin somewhere, um, I have... Uh, two satellites, an octa and a quad, so I'm well into the Universal Audio hardware world uh, using uh, the uh, the console here uh, on a daily basis. So the question is, how complicated is it to get Luna up and running and start working in it? I'm pretty sure it's primarily a production environment, I've said this before, um, not necessarily a writing environment. You probably can, but I'm pretty sure that Cubase's MIDI implementation um, and and uh, creative implementation is is more developed than Luna. I think Luna is primarily a, a uh, Pro Tools -y kind of environment. Let's get recording, but we'll see. So let's see if these hard drives have been found. Um, and as I said before, since it's Mac based, it will probably work with audio units instead of VST. I have loads of VST stuff. Never installed any audio unit stuff. What is it with the Roly? Yeah, yeah, I don't even have the Roly installed. First time it wants many things, but that's what we want to see. We want to see is, uh, uh, we, we want to see how easy is it to get this super integration with the hardware free DAW happening. It is free to users of the Universal Audio stuff. Um, I would assume that it doesn't work with anything other than the Universal Audio hardware because that's the thing. Integration with their plugins, their hardware, now with the software DAW. I don't think it works with anything else. What are you guys seeing? <laughs> this is hurting my head. Bye, Corey. What now? Uh... We're going to ignore that. Um, now, I do. Okay, it's going through all the. Uh, oh, wait, I need to. I need to get away. Um, boing. Um, it's going through all the Universal Audio plugins now. And. If you want to work with VSTs, uh, I just saw a post by.
Oh, can you hear me now? That's interesting. Now you can hear me again. You should be able to hear me again. So give me a... Okay, you can hear me. Well, for some reason, the DAW decided to pull down this arc reader, which is where you can hear me. So, what I was saying is I started a new project. Okay, that's interesting. There's also a new button here, which is isolate on the console, on the UA console. Let's see what that is. Hello, hello, hello. I have no idea what this new button is. Interesting. So what I thought I might do is, um, why is the background changing? That's also not something I wanted to do. I said, why aren't things happening today? So we're going to do this. Going to hit this. This should loop it. Damn it. <laughs> Things are not happening here. Um, one second. I'm supposed to do something. I'm, I'm confused. So you're saying you can see everything on the screen? Uh, that's You're supposed to see everything on the screen. I'm confused what that means. Um, so, point is, that should be going... Instead of playing around with it and trying to just see what functions there are, let's try to create actual, like, what if I actually want to go in and make some music? So I'm going to try, without ever having worked with it, to work on I Am Human, that song that I made many of you work on, and let's see what happens. So for that, I need to... Tag Peter. Um, I need two stereo tracks, and apparently up here... View, set mixer display. Ah, that's the mixer, okay. Timeline display, and what is this? Show height. Ah, that's the tracks. Ah, cool, 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 cool. Ah, that's the focus, which focuses on the current track, okay. Info is at the bottom. And monitors on the right, which technically I don't need, so let's get rid of that. Of course, you're going to need to hear what I'm doing, but we'll figure this out. Um, so I'm going to make two stereo tracks. Um, I'm going to call this backing for now. What the crap? Why, why is it changing? I'm sorry, but why is it changing the aux setting on this tr channel? This is kind of stupid. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go out of the queue. 
which should still be you hearing me. Wait a second, I check. Hello, hello, hello. Good. Okay, you can hear me. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see if it maybe just doesn't change the queue. Let me know if you can't hear me again. This is stupid that it's changing something on my console. Maybe, I mean, it's it's full console integration. So, if I go onto these tracks, it's showing me what's happening in the console, which is this focus thing. So let's get rid of that. Um, I'm going to change the tempo to 125 because that's what I need. I'm going to see if I can drag in the tracks, which I don't quite know where they are. Did I have them? Where did I put them? I put them here somewhere. March 2020. No, Mixus March. Here, I am human. There we go. So we're going to do drums, which is an MP3. Drag it in here. That's working. And I am human vocals. Dragging it in here. That's working. Okay. Um, if I go and turn this other TV on, I might actually see if there's a level. Level, level, level. Okay, I have a level indicator there. I have a level indicator there. Now, let's see. Okay, I can hear nothing. That's, that's where we start. Well, first, oh, I'm trying to do my Cubase key commands. Um... Hey, Sophia, stop calling me Papa. Um, and you really should be in bed. So I can move things here in increments of eighth notes. No, in increments of quarter notes. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to have to figure out how uh, to turn the snap off. I'm going to have to figure out many many things just to make these two tracks work so if you drag if i hmm, if you select the whole thing oh up here in the upper part of the track how do i make this bigger and smaller plus oh plus and What the crap did I just do? Damn it. <laughs> okay, timeline. Uh, plus worked. Minus doesn't work. Uh huh. Well, this will all zo ah, zo zoom in audio, zoom out audio. And of course, oh, that's great. Uh, this is all, f this, these key commands are all for an American keyboard. They're not for a German keyboard. So this doesn't help me in any way. That literally doesn't help me. Because I want to do this, but I don't know. Let's see. Okay. That's pretty annoying. Please change that. Okay, so command. That we obviously have to change immediately. Um, to what I'm used to. So let's see if we can do that. Victor, weird bald German guy is not one of my pet names, you fucker. I mean, love you. Uh, preferences. 
Can you hear me? Can you hear? Yes, you can. Discover. Well, that's what we're doing right now, but without. On the first thing they do is. Oh no. Oh uh, well, apparently the Neve summing that they are bragging about. If you want that, it's an extension that'll cost you two ninety nine. And uh, obviously the built-in instruments cost you extra money. So the first thing on Explore is things to buy. Which they're giving you good deals, but the Neve summing there, you know, saying, oh, it's so amazing, that'll cost you extra. So no, we don't want that. How do I get rid of that? Create. Manage, demo available, Oxid tape recorder is installed, shape is installed, shape expansion. The tape recorder I already have, uh, but how do I get back to... Ah, okay. So, I want key commands. Options, in-out matrix. Hardware. Nope, that's not where it is. Um, nope. Should we look in the documentation? MIDI keyboard mode. So right now the the key commands that you have, even though uh, the um, manual is in German, uh, are for an U.S. keyboard. That's kind of stupid. Um, Oh, that's actually the Mac OS help. What? Okay, Luna documentation. Where's that? Online. Download Luna documentation. Okay. So far, we're probably an hour in, and hmm. What? Ah, oh, yeah, that's what that's what I want. Let's see if I find anything about key commands. <laughs> Luna instruments, that's all nice. AAF, working with tracks. Apparently you need an iLog account to actually work with it, which I don't quite understand why. Samples ruler, recording audio. Shift X, Shift B, Shift D, Shift Delete. Okay. Working with MIDI, Shift X. Quantizing. Signing track colors. Can I search in here? Q 
key range that's different. Whole thing about the Minimoog. Luna and keyboard controls, that's different. Okay. Um Command F key Mhm mm There should be a table of the key commands, which of course is going to cut, copy, paste, shift, cut, but I should be able to make my own. Okay. Mm-hmm. Luna menu. Quits Luna. That's all fine. File menu. Command N. <sighs> no, apparently I can't create my own. Which only would make sense. Okay, I guess not. Uh, but I have to find out where is that audio going. So if I look at the mixer, it is going to main. But what is that assigned to? Hey, Aaron. Mm, okay. Um... Okay. Where is that going? Okay, here I can look at the inputs. Ah, okay. See, we can look at the inputs as they are named uh, in the... Uh, Apollo software. Why does it reset that? That is just asinine. Thank you, Peter. So, this is not going as smoothly as I would want, and I'm already annoyed by it. Okay, Luna keyboard shortcuts. Thank you. That's better. Okay, um, how do I assign that to an output? Because it's clearly playing something. Input console. What does that mean? Start demo. Start what demo? Right-click the black backing track label. Right-click. And then... Oops. 
So where is this going? I mean, this is a demo of the summing thing, which is neat and dandy, but I need to know where that's going. Tape, I can put tape on it, it's fine. I, I own those, but I don't need that. That's, I, I need to hear something. So, inserts, okay, I can insert stuff, that's fine. But where is that main going? That's what we need to know, let's see, monitor. So if I'm playing, it's not going there. Interesting. High tracks, nope. Input, tape, insert, uh, okay, ah, okay. Input. Output. Okay, that's fine. It goes to main. But where does main go? Yeah, exactly. Hello, hello, you can still hear me. Uh, that's interesting. Oh, okay, so we got inserts, we got sends, we got cues. I can send it to a queue so that you can actually hear it, but that doesn't help me. <laughs> what am I missing? Nico does a gent. We don't know that yet because we don't have freaking audio. Uh, thank you, David. David's here from Home Recording Made Easy. Um, what do you mean unmute your mic? It, it isn't muted. The mic shouldn't be muted. The mic is fine. And you should be able to hear me. Because I can see the level there. I can see the level there. Um... So that's fine. I need to get the output to show up in the console on a virtual track. So, David, I can see the output from Luna here. Where's that going? That's what I don't understand. For some reason, it's going to pull my cue down for certain things. Okay, I get that. But why can't I get the output to show up somewhere? Um, okay, that's the mixer. All good. So if I'm here, backing to output, main. Okay, what, what's happening here? I can put that there and gone. I want the main to go somewhere because it doesn't have an output. David. Come on. It probably also happens if I add a channel, not just a bus channel. Well, let's, let's try it. What if I add a channel? Let's see. I add a channel. Mono audio channel. I still have audio going to you guys and... He So every time you add a channel in Luna, for some reason, it is changing your uh, aux and Q assignments in the console. That's lame. It's pulling all of them down and zeroing them. So whatever settings you had, they're gone. Okay, we figured that, that in interface setup, you say, you say, remove. That's my track. I put that there. Let's call that git one. Um, main, main, main. Wait, you're saying what? Carrie, you're saying interface setup? Uh, 
Um, Victor, yes, it's definitely the audio interface because it's only working with the universal audio interfaces, as far as I understand. And you can clearly see here the inputs are all the inputs from the universal audio. So that's fine, but even though I've got level here on the main, I don't know where that main is going. If I click on this, what? Try switch the I switch on. Really? This isn't happening. Wow. Uh okay. Strange. So usually you have to go into the console. Let's see. Does it actually So I'm in the mixer? Pad. And now we're gone. No, we're not gone. 48 volt. Hello, 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 hello. Strange. Okay, I don't know what flattened the send again. Um, so, mic setting, I can actually control the hardware from here. If I load something into Unison, let's see. Like the 737, it's probably loaded in the console as well. Yes, it is actually loaded in the console in my Unison channel. That's actually pretty cool. So that's how it is, the hardware and software integration. Um, see, I can actually control the hardware from here. Remove that. Hello, okay. Are you still at level? I still don't know how to get the main assigned to an output. Yeah, 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 it's we, we, uh, 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 hey, uh, Gabor, by the way, uh, yeah, we're trying, um, yes, every time we create a track, it'll mute the mic, uh, but even, it even muted it when I did something here, maybe when I added, let's try this, unison, la, 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 nope, that doesn't do it, when it, when you do certain things, it kind of seems to flatten the uh, the cues and the arc sense in the console. It's definitely adding a track, definitely does it, but um, how in the world do I get know where this main shows up? Help! David, I want output. Uh, so where does this go? Let's see, if I'm playing this... Okay, now nothing seems to be playing. That's just great. Hello, 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 okay. Ah, because I'm on the...
Now I don't know what I did. I just went into the console and and it leveled it. It 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 turned the queue off again. What the So working in Luna and showing you anything in Luna and doing a live stream isn't happening. You might actually have to automate that somehow, that Q send. Um, okay, I still don't hear my drums. Because it's not showing up on the master. Okay. David, how do I assign this somewhere? I can rename it. That's beautiful. There should be settings. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, you can still see it. In out matrix. That doesn't help us. That's the in out matrix. That's fine that we have that. Outputs. I kind of would like it on a virtual, like, I don't know. One and two or whatever. That's buying things. David, I'm waiting for you. I don't know where to assign this master or this main to an output. It's not like, you know, I'm new to this kind of stuff. I have tracks, they're clearly playing. I have a console and I can't... I see outputs here. Now, of course, I can assign, let's see, I can, of course, assign this to, let's say, virtual one and two. Okay, wait. Now it's stopped for a reason. Why is it only playing the selection? Ninja, where are you? Max system audio to virtual channels and console. I don't know what that means. He's saying it's going to the Mac system? The, so the main is going... What? Really? Now I should be able to assign this any way I want, freely. I, I can't assign exactly where it's going. I need to do this in the software. David, I need your help. I, where does the main audio go? The manage button? This? No. Oh, manage, okay. Now what? Hello, hello, hello. The Neve is installed, okay.
I mean, I can add the... I can add the Neve, okay. But right now I assigned it to... I assigned the drums to Virtual 1 and 2. Which is fine. But I would assign them to Main. And then I would like Main to go to Virtual 1 and 2. So why can't I assign an output for Main? Does anyone understand that? I don't. Well, I'm not having a breakdown. I just go to Cubase and never look at this again if I can't even get audio out of it. Bottom right corner. Yes? Victor. What's with the bottom right corner? Where? Can, can you be more specific? Bottom right corner in this window. In this window? In this window. No, there is no... That's the main out. That's the monitor out. And right now that doesn't really concern us. Thing is, there is no output assignment for the main. See, I, I can assign where each channel goes individually. That's easy. I can say this is going anywhere here. I could I could assign all of it to a bus if I wanted to, and then uh, route that bus to my virtual output, and then my bus becomes my master. But what? This main thing, where is that going? It's going here. No, one, two, three, four. I know that's the same thing. Beautiful. Those are commands. Record workflow. It's all nice that it's done for, you know, beautiful recording, but... I click the monitor button, that's a mute button, there is no monitor button to click, I, it needs to be assigned to something, this is my volume, those are my cue outs, which now look different, new software, okay, fine. <sighs> The monitor button in the bottom right. Victor, I do not know what you're talking about. There is... That's not a button. That's right there. That's a fader. There's mute and mono. There is no button. It is. It needs to be assigned to the console, to a channel. I want it on a virtual channel. I want it to show up right here. Hello, hello, yeah, okay. I want to show up right here on that channel, which is now called Cubase, or on any other virtual channel on the console. Hmm. Now there's vocals. There's a master. That's what the main is. Interestingly, oh wait, why isn't, I also can't change anything here, that, no, there's stuff coming, trim, can't turn that on,
See, now you guys could hear it because I was sending it to the queue. So there's definitely routing going on. Victor? Yes, I see a monitor channel strip. Nothing is going there because it's not assigned to anything. Yes, and then this monitor. And now what? It's not going there. Main is not going to the monitor. I need to be able to assign main to whatever I wanted to. I, I need to be able to assign it to where I want it to go. I clicked it. Did you not see that I clicked? It's right there. Monitor is clicked. Now what? I can click the control room. Talk back. Source is monitor. Control room. Q hmm. Could be Q1. It could be Q2. I mean, what I can do, I can't say for the control room, I'm going to Q2, which th th there is a workaround, but I don't get it. I could say Q2, and then I'm sending here to Q2. Oh, wait, of course, I need to go here somewhere. I can't do that, and then send it to Q2. Is that how it's supposed to be? Because right now, that means I can't monitor anything else other than what's assigned to Q2. What are you saying now? So if I click on monitor, ah, that's what you mean. Okay, so in the control room, it is. And now, there's nothing. Literally nothing. So it's definitely working with the console. I can assign it to Q2, and then it comes out of Q2, I can assign it to Q1. And now you're hearing it, because that's actually what uh, is feeding the live stream. But I need to be able to assign this to whatever output I want. Well, you're definitely not good to go by enabling monitor. Control, I am on source monitor, but this main thing in the console is not going there. You can see in the console. Let's look at a couple of inputs here, because I'm hiding a couple of them. But there's nothing coming in on any of them. Nope. Nothing anywhere. So I'm done. Modifier's power. No idea what that means.
in the console, there needs to be assignments, just like I have the assignments for the input right here or the output right here. Let's do this. I'm going to make a bus. Oh, hello, hello. hello. Uh, of course, once I do that, um, you're going to be gone, but that's okay. We're going to call this master instead of main. No need summing. None. Stereo. And okay. Beautiful that it, it's so beautiful that it does that. I, you know, this, okay. So I have a master bus now. Accelerated real time monitoring. Okay, this I can assign, check this out, to virtual one and two. There we go. And now I can get rid of tracks. Eight, can I get rid of tracks? There's probably key commands for that. Um, now I can assign this, oh, to the master. Now, this is my main fader, which is going to my Cubase fader right here, which you can't hear unless I pull this up, but that's fine. It's going to be flattened just like the other one every time I do something. So, um, if I now go here... So that's clearly working, but that's a workaround. Um, wait, uh, I was saying, uh, Henning, click on the third button in view box at the top of the open focus box. What? Third button in view. Yes. What? Oh, wait, here. Okay, um, you're saying on the third button in view box at the top to open the focus box. Okay, the focus box is open. But even the output isn't displayed here. Interestingly, and here the outputs are displayed, but not for the main. The main apparently is going automatically to the monitor, which it isn't. I'll try this again. Third, third button in view. Yes. I am on the focus box, that's here. But there is no output, no output assignment. First of all, interestingly, um, <laughs> David. Thank you, David. Let's see if we can do audio. 
Video we can't do because that's going to mess with the stream. I'm here. We can't do video because it's going to mess with the stream. Uh, no, no, it's 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 back. Okay, is it because it's uh, okay? There's a delay on YouTube. Okay, now I can hear you. Okay, let me let, let me mute let me mute my YouTube so I don't hear you crap though. Okay, so if you go to your console, open up the console. I think something might be muted, and that's why you're not hearing audio going out the mains. Okay, but even if it, but even if it's muted, I should be seeing levels. You're right. If you look in in Luna on the far right hand side where you see the audio meter. Yep. You, you should see signal there if if some if if obviously if audio is passing through there. <clears throat> but what I found is, yeah, your mic just muted again. I think. Well, no, no, it's fine. I I can totally see the I, I can see the level. Yeah. Okay. What what I find is, is every time you do anything in Luna in the console app, everything tends to get muted. So uh, your... what it does in what it does in the console app. It pulls all the aux sense and the Q sense down, and I'm sending my my vocal mic through the uh, uh, aux or the Q, so that it pulls it down. I don't think it mutes everything. On mine, it was turning all the mute buttons on, and the faders were staying up. They weren't moving down, which is weird. <clears throat> okay. Uh, um, it. So I. I don't. I don't think it. I. I haven't seen it muting anything, but what I'm doing is. Um, I'm. I want to assign it to just a standard virtual uh, 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 track in the console. Right. Or actually, I want to assign it anywhere. The main, as they call it, is right now not going to uh, the monitor. It's not going there because you can clearly see that it's not giving me level. Right, when you, when you, hit, when you hit play, you're getting no level on the right-hand side of Luna, right on the meter. Exactly. I'm getting it on the main. The main channel has level. Right. Um, but that main channel, where is that router to? Because you can't route it. I'm trying to see your screen a little bit. I'm trying to blow it up here so I can see what you're looking at. But if, if you look at it, the main channel, there is a routing assignment on all the individual channels, all the buses. If you look at it, I mean, you're going to see it with a, a little bit of a, a, um, delay. But at the bottom, there's an output assignment for, for the audio tracks or the, or the bus. And that output assignment doesn't exist for the main. Yeah, that's uh, that's strange, man. So, te so technically, that main should automatically be routed to the monitor, to the master. It should be. It, yeah. Right, and mine, mine was. So, um, open up your console again, Henning. Can we look at your console lab quickly? Yep. Because it's absolutely in, uh, working with the console. A, it's leveling it, but uh, B, I now assigned my three audio tracks to a bus, which I called Master. Right, and, I see that. and I assigned that bus to my Cubase virtual track, which is virtual one and two. And that's working beautifully. So I have audio out, so I, mean, I've, I have a workaround, but why isn't that main in Luna automatically going to the monitor? Scroll, yeah, scroll all the way over in your console app because I see something hidden behind the behind the auxes. Uh, it's got to be one of those channels has to be down or muted. That's causing that because you, you can see all in the console app all your all your tracks are, are on mute. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't matter whether it's muted or not because when I'm playing it, wait a second, I'm assigning that to main. So when I'm playing in Luna, you can clearly see that the main has level. It has level, but you don't hear anything. So, even if it's muted, and there's something on the tracks in the console, you will see that there's level, which you don't. So even if the, the mute has... I should see that there's level. It's clearly not assigned to anywhere in the console. Right, because you can see the you can see level on that main meter in in, in uh, Luna on that that main. Yes, meter. so there is something on the main, but uh, look at it this way. I'm gonna assign it to my my uh, virtual again. Now so it, right now it's going to virtual one and two, and you can see even if it's muted, there is level. Our lives, we lose our way so until we find 
I can see this level where the like, I need to run off some questions. Where in the world is the Okay, so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. No, I don't, I don't hear your main playing on, over YouTube. I'm gonna save this. Uh... Well, y you should have heard it now because I assigned it to the queue. Uh... So I, you know, I'm new to this kind of stuff. Oh, I... La 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 la. Okay, I'm still there. Wait, now the console's resetting. Okay. Yeah, that's fucking weird. The way they, uh, the way when you add a track, it mutes everything, or that turns everything down. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Now that I closed Luna, the console went back to the state that it was in before I was running Luna. Oh wow! Really? If you look at the console now that I closed Luna out, all the Look at all the uh, AUX and Q assignments. They're all I back to... See, I can't see it yet because there's a delay on YouTube. Yeah. I still see you with Luna open. But once I closed it, first of all, the um, yeah. the uh, uh, the look of the console changed with the heights of the channels. Really? And And also, yes, the console now looks different. And the all the sends are now back to the levels where they were before. So Luna is taking over your um your your your, your 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 console app, but the question is, how do you um how do you keep an arcs assignment where it's supposed to be once you add a new channel? I mean, it's you add, let, let's assume you're working with the band, okay, and you are and you're sending cue outs into the room. Every time you add a new channel, all those Q-Sends are set back. Right, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. That's got to be a bug. That, that, that can't be right. Th that has to be a bug. So I'm going to open Luna again and see maybe if, if that main assignment was also a bug. Because that clearly should just go to the, to the monitor, right? So, now people can hear me. So I pulled my Q1 on my shotgun mic up again. Now people on, on, on YouTube can hear me. Yeah. But, I'm pretty sure that that input, which is input 3, uh, it's not bidirectional. Meaning, if I pull it up in Luna, It'll very likely control the console, but the console doesn't control Luna. Meaning, it's it's not saved in Luna once I pull it up on the console. Right. What are you using to live stream? Are you using OBS, Henning? Uh, no, I'm using uh, Wirecast. Wirecast. So in Wirecast, what is being chosen as the audio device? It, it's it's all going into my big video system. Okay, and then that's going out to Wirecast. And that's going out to Wirecast just as a as a main. Is so what? Anything, is there anything in that? Is it the Black Magic? Is there anything in that software that might be No, 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 no. Okay. What I'm going to try what I'm going to try let, let's look at this. I'm going to go to my guitar one channel and as my input I'm going to select my shotgun mic. And again it pulled down the Q1. Right? 
because Luna was set to Q1 at zero. So now I'm going to see when I, if I if I move around the uh, Q1 in um, in Luna, if it changes it on the console. Wait a second, I'm going to try to put this both on the same screen. No, it doesn't. It does not. But if I go to input monitoring, uh, it's horrible. That's bad. Aha! 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 Input monitoring will put both. Console, what I do in Luna. Let's see if I see in Luna what I do on the console. Uh, no, we do not. <laughs> the fucker. Yes, that's it. But it also pulled down this. We have to wait a couple seconds so to see it. It also pulled down this Q1, which is what you guys are hearing on YouTube. Okay? So, if you look at Luna, on, on the left, you see Q1 and you can see a level there. And there's a tiny little green notch which shows you where it's set, which is kind of stupid. It's a little green notch in a green level. Okay? Um, and when I pull that up and down, when I pull that up and down, you in Luna, uh, no, in, 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 the, in the console, right? Right. Right up here. So Luna one is controlling the console. But if I go to the console and move Q1 around, that doesn't change. It doesn't change. Great. You would think it would have two-way communication back and forth. Like no. So what is happening? So what is happening? If in Luna, my Q1s are set to zero, um, every time I do something in Luna and the console is asking, hey, Luna, how are you set up? It's taking the setting in Luna. And that's why it's moving them all to zero. Right. Because it's not checking, wait a second, how is it set to the console? How is it set in Luna? Luna takes precedence over the console setting. So, okay. so if I go to the console, and so that you guys can hear me on YouTube, I pull this Q1 up to zero so that my mic is going into my Blackmagic system. Right. Um, every time I do something in Luna, it's doing a query in, in, in Luna saying, wait a second, how are your Q1 set? And they're setting them all back to zero, which now technically it shouldn't happen anymore. And we can check that because now I set that level in Luna to not zero. And let's, we're going to do this test. So, I see you turning up the cues on the main. Okay, so in Luna, you're turning up Q1 on that main track. Is that doing on, anything? It's it's doing it. Um, uh, it it's on the uh, track that is assigned uh, to input three, where my shotgun mic is. Right, but you're, but you're still not hearing any audio from it. Um, you are because it's on input monitoring right now. Here's my big question: If I now add a new track. Is my console going to be zeroed out again? It should. Well, no, it shouldn't, but I think it will. But maybe it's ask. Maybe it's checking that Q setting on this guitar okay. one track. Maybe it's looking at the Q setting and then determines whether it needs to be changed. Yes. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to add a track. Tracks. Gonna. Oh, I don't know how I do that. Tracks. Okay, I'm going to add a track, audio track, mono. 
and it ha 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 okay now i have feedback but fucker the fucker Uh, and it also muted it, so no one heard what I was saying. Viewers, this is so great for the viewers. Um, can I, and I put. This is the experience that people will have, and you and you and I, we know this shit. We know the shit backwards, so we know what we're looking for. If I think of poor Sophia, who just bought a Mac, she bought a, 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 a um, an Apollo a, a, a twin, the, the Apollo X, whatever. She spent quite a bit of money, and and she doesn't know anything about this stuff. So she's fighting like crazy to just get something into Logic. Now, if I imagine her opening something like this, and not even getting audio, so okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. So here's what I'm going to do. I open Luna again. I'm going to do main. And let's see if if I play the timeline. Uh, I'm getting audio on the uh, main. We haven't tried this yet. No, of course not. So I have level on the main very clearly. Main has level. I see it in Luna jumping up and down. Not a problem. But there's nothing going to my master. I'm going to try something. I'm going to take yeah, levels down here. Think of that. What, would, what would my setup be different from yours? My setup, other than the software that you're using, which has no bearing on it, I, I don't see why it would matter. Try that. That doesn't change anything. Yeah, that's, that's really weird. I'm going to have to go down and look at that. I am literally not getting... An output. If I go, I mean, I assigned my tracks to a bus. If I assign that bus to my virtual one and two, or to monitor, whatever I want, um, I will have level, like right here. Not a, not a problem. I mean, it's it's absolutely working with the console. I can in, I can pretty much make my own master track if I wanted that. My own main track, but what is that? What is, I see on your in your console, you have aux one. What is that turned all the way down? But aux two and talkback are turned up. You have nothing to assign to aux one, do you? Um. In your console, all the way to the right, where your aux tracks are. Yep. That one, that one fader's turned all the way down and it's muted. It's not turned down, but that's just aux. I mean. Nothing's going to. That. In other words, you have nothing routed to to, to that. Right? No. No. I'm literally not getting any master out out of Luna. Nope, you're not. Yeah, I can see it. You're not. The tracks are playing, but, the, but it's not going to the main out for whatever reason. And, I mean, obviously I can I can assign it to main right there. Now it's on main. But that main is not going to monitor or to... Once I, it, It's just not going anywhere in the console. And I don't see this little drop-down menu or, or this, you know, assignment... For the main, you should be able to say main goes to, you know, virtual tracks or monitor or whatever. Right. But there is no output assignment for the main. Uh, apply to routing output. Sense. Input. What? Tracks. Selected. Routing. Output. Oh, you know what, though, uh, Henning? Uh, 
Uh, when I'm looking at Luna and I see your main track that you created, right above it where it says output, there's nothing there. Yes, and that's my point. I need a, I need an, I, I find nowhere in Luna where you can assign that somewhere. Yeah. Does yours have a... No, I mean, yours probably also doesn't have anything there. But, but, that's, but that's what I'm saying. The output where it's blank, that has to be assigned to something. Yes. Right now it's going into nothing. If you click on that, that gray area, does it give you a... Yeah, I'd have, to, I'd have to go down and play with mine to look at it. I don't... Because I didn't have this problem. I didn't look at it this closely as you're looking at it. Um, but how does it determine... You see where you, where the uh, in Luna where the outputs are, where where we said it has nothing there. If you scroll over to the left, there's a little drop down triangle there. Does that does that open up? Wait. Expand that box to see if there's a way to choose. Wait, you're saying in Luna? Wait a second. Where the triangles? All the way towards the right. Where you see where your outputs. You have your 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 tracks, and we're we're talking about that main track has no output assigned. Yes. But if you scroll over to the left, there's a little drop-down triangle that will open and close the output section, I believe. To the left. All the way to the left of the tracks. Right next to the backing track. Track. <laughs> backing one track. I don't see a little triangle. Like a little arrow. That... I don't see that. If you look at the backing one track, where yep. the output is going to the master. Yep. Ah, okay. Directly to the left of that, is there a little drop down? I think it's a drop down menu. Yeah, but that really just hides the outputs. It just hides it. Okay, so there's nothing to choose there. So let me ask you, how does <clears throat> where backing one track where it says it's going to the master, how did that little thing come up? In other words, where do you assign it for it to show that it comes to the master? It's not done right in that Luna screen. Right here on the left, once you once you click on it on the uh, on the left, there's a big list of ins and outs. And then you can assign where it's going, either internally to buses or the main or actual physical outputs. Okay. The question is mains. When I click on mains, apply to output. Nope, output, input, focused. So I am on main, but that main, I don't know Fixed slots, that's all fine. Large, it's just, just console view. Beautiful, I mean, it's a beautiful console view, that's all nice. I literally, the simplest thing, which is assigning the main output of the software to an output on your console, whether it's, whether it's the monitor or a virtual out, I can't do. It's not automatically assigned to the monitor. So, I can't get audio out of it other than doing a workaround, which I'm not going to do. I'll, I'll close the damn thing out and never open it again um, if I can't get the most basic thing happening. Right. Yeah, you know, I don't know because I, I didn't have this exact problem. So. so, for you, that main went automatically to the monitor out. what you were experiencing with your microphone when you would create a track or a bus it would totally turn everything down that was the only issue i was having playing audio no problem and what i did is kind of what you did i imported audio from a mixing perspective and set up a mix yep and everything and, and the main was was not a problem for me at all and it just played it just played yeah it did it just played well this doesn't <laughs> yeah obviously it's not, it's not dimmed. I mean, the thing is, if I got no audio out of it, I would understand. But that's not the problem, because I am getting audio out of it. As soon, right. as, soon as I manually assign it to, to my virtual output, it's not a problem. I can hear it. So the console's working, my speakers are working, the audio interface is working. It's all working. It's just the assignment of that internal main. And I cannot find a place in Luna to say... Main is connected to. And what interface are you using this through? Uh, an Apollo 8 and an X4. An X4. This is a stupid question.
question. The, <laughs> I know it's a dumb question. The, vol- the physical volume gain knob on those interfaces aren't turned all the way down, are they? Well, but then... No, they're not. But if they were, then I still wouldn't be able to hear uh, anything if I assign it to something else. Well, you wouldn't hear it, though, coming out of your main speakers in your room. Right? If, you're, if your physical speakers are connected to one of those interfaces... Yes. If something on one of those interfaces, a mute or, or turn down or something is there, although you should see that in the console because it's supposed to control it, but then you wouldn't hear any sound coming out of your main speakers. But I mean, I hear sound in the main speakers if I, if I assign it manually to a virtual out. To a virtual out, right? If I use anything other than the Luna main, uh, it's working. If I just go, you know, to my bus here, which I made, so I assigned my, my, my channels to the master bus. Let's see. Um, where are my buses? Backing one. Come on, backing one. Here we go. Uh, I assigned this to my bus, and the bus is called Master. Um, and that Master, now instead of going to the main, which means I'm not going to hear it, I'm assigning it to Virtual 1 and 2, which is a virtual on the console. All of a sudden, we hear everything we want to hear. Over YouTube. And my speakers. Here, right here. There it is. Okay. Not a problem. It's absolutely working, and that virtual output on the console is going to the to the monitor. Not a problem. So it, it, the system is fully working. The only thing that's not working is the main in Luna is just not going to anywhere. Neither a virtual channel or um, the the monitor. So the question is where. Can you see where the main is going? That is, that should be a, a preference. But if I go, but if I go to preferences, I am in the I/O matrix. Yep. And so, in the I/O matrix of Luna or the I/O matrix of the console. And I think that's the same. I am in, in Luna, in the I.O. matrix, and it looks exactly like the I.O. matrix in the console. And does it show where that main, does it show that main assignment? Nope. It only shows the physical and virtual... Uh, That's weird. I'll have to look at my, because mine must be the same, but why, do, why would I get that audio and you don't? That doesn't... I'd have to go, I'd have to really look at it and see. So, as it stands, A, the, the constant... Zeroing out of the console when it comes to arcs and cues. That's bullshit. Yeah, that needs to be fixed. Because, for one could say, while well, you're doing live streaming and who cares, but yeah, but, even still. but I mean, Im- Im- imagine you you're running a session, and you're setting up the cue mix for the drummer, and every time you add a um, and you're setting that up in the console, and uh, or anywhere, and every time you are uh. Or, or, or are we are we seeing this wrong? Does it make sense? Because you're setting it up in Luna. You're setting up in Luna. You're setting up a, a Q mix. Yeah, but you but why? You can do everything inside of Luna. You don't even need to open the console app to do that, right? So, if that's the case, why would Luna even have to control that? That you know, the original console application before Luna, you know what I mean? Where you, because you can do everything inside of Luna. You can, you can use the, uh, Unison technology. You can put the inserts on, record through the plugins. It almost, you almost wonder why you need the console app at all. Yeah. Uh, well, I will, you say, I was saying I have the focus panel open the tracks. We see the output options. I do, but the output options do not show up for main. That's the thing. I go to any of the other tracks there are output options. Here, output options. Not for the main. The main does not have an output selection. And that's what matters. So the main right now runs nowhere. Right. That's, yeah, that, that's, that's a question for the UA. I, I don't know. That, that's, I'm stumped. <laughs> I wish I could help you with that. I don't know. I mean... Let's go into what he's saying. I will. You're saying, can you see the output options? Absolutely, I can, but not for the main. Let's see. Yeah, but 
to the left. Scroll down. Now what? Use output Adam is now saying to the left scroll down it will show up on the main I, I, I am I am clicking on the main and as soon as you do there's nothing I can do to it there are no output options wait what the fuck, now? Why all of a sudden now on the main I can see an output? Main, output, wait a second. This makes no sense. I just assigned it to virtual one and two. Wait a second. Why did it all of a sudden show up? Let's see if that works. I don't understand where that all of a sudden came from. I'm saying play and check the console. If I'm now clicking on main, in that focus thing, not on the... What the fuck? I'm sorry, th this is not programmed. So, okay, David, if I'm going into the console, uh, in, in, in Luna console, there's output, output assignments for every track except main, right? Right. So, but if I go into the timeline, okay? Okay, I go into the timeline and in the timeline, I click on the individual tracks. On the timeline, on each track, there's also an output assignment. But not on the main. So neither in the console nor in the timeline, the main has an output assignment. But if you go into the timeline and hit the focus button, which means it pulls up the track right next to it, right. there is an output assignment for the main. It was assigned to apparently nothing. It just said output. Now I assigned it to virtual one and two. Let's see if I hear something. Yep, there it is. Okay, so in the timeline, when you open up the focus, which pulls up that little channel strip, that's where you're assigning it from. Yes. In the, con in the console view, you can't see that option. You can't see it in the console view, and you can't see it um, on the track in the timeline. It, it has, like, you know, mute, solo, volume, blah, 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 and also an output assignment, but not on the main. The only place where you can see that assignment is in the focus view. Got it. Okay. That's, that's strange. Okay, but no, it looks like... Oh, you, you, you're so kind. That's not strange. That's asinine. Well... <laughs> if it shows up in the representation of the... It should be everywhere where you can assign an output, that's where it should show up. That's right. That's right, you're right. And it's also... Yeah, it, looks like, it looks like Adam's the one that got you there. <laughs> he helped you, it looked like. Interestingly, if I assign it to monitor left and right, which I think it was assigned to, I'm not getting audio. Let's see. Let's, let's try this again. Yeah, if I assign it to monitor left and right, which is probably what yours is assigned automatically, right? Right, yeah, you're probably right. You have to look at it, but I bet you that's right. I have no output. Nothing. But I now find out where I can assign it, which is only in that focus window. In the timeline, in the edit screen. In the timeline, in the edit screen, you have to open the focus thing, and that's only where you have an output assignment, not in the main console where it belongs. Right. Um, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, you a... A simple thing like this means I'm not going to work with the software, because it's probably a year away from being 
functional because if that's something that isn't there, what else isn't there? Yeah, you know, I don't know. I've, I've only just started working with it a couple of days ago like you, and I'm only maybe two, maybe two hours into mixing a session with it, so I haven't gotten that far. But I'm, I'm doing a, a whole live stream on it, mixing every, you know, mixing a different part of the song every episode for probably two weeks, so I'm going to try to, if I stumble upon stuff, I'll know. <laughs> I mean, it's just... I, I don't want to waste time. If software has a simple user interface issue like this, where something in the user interface shows up on a representation of the track in one uh, uh, view, but not in the others. Um, yeah, that doesn't make it. That, that, you're right. That, that's an oversight. That doesn't make it. Uh, here's, uh, 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 Mybolux is right now saying, I don't have it even in the focus. Um, I didn't have it in the focus either. You have to click on the output. They were all hidden. So in the focus, um, there's there's tabs on the channel. Tape, insert, send, cues. And you have to click on the output, then it shows up. Right. Let's see. But not in the not in the main 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 mix mix view. That is just it, it that makes no sense. I'm sorry. Yeah, I can assign it here. I have audio now, but realistically, what I wanted to do is just actually work in it and, 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 and show it working. Um, I don't realistically want to do that. Uh, be, because that is an indication to me that it's not finished. Right. Well, it's the first release of it, right? But no, you, you're right. I mean, that, that something like that should have been caught in beta testing. That should absolutely have been caught in beta testing. The fact that it's uh, zeroing out the console in terms of the uh, 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 aux sense and cues um, can be very annoying, especially if you're trying to do what I'm trying to do right now and in sh you know, cutting off the YouTube people. I love my Universal Audio stuff, but this is basic stuff. This is basic. I want to assign a channel. I go to the console. I look for output, and it's not there. Right. Um, so I'm I'm not I mean I'll I'll wait a year and then try Luna again. I'm gonna be serious. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest, Universal Audio. It's not I if I'm beta testing, yeah, then I'm your guinea pig. But once you're saying it's released, I don't wanna be a guinea pig anymore. I wanna actually work. No, you want it to work. No, no, you're 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 right. Yeah, I, I, I hear you. I mean I'm a universal audio guy myself and been for twenty years and I, I get it. I they got great stuff, but this it, you're right. This this seems it, it falls a little short from what little I've used it, and to see it, to see you struggle like this in real time is a good indication of what someone else, any anyone. Well, I mean that's why I did it. That's why I opened it for the first time in in the live stream because it's it's the most honest thing to do. And if I for two hours can't get audio out of it, I mean yeah, we're talking basic audio. Obviously, there's problem. obviously the main is supposed to be assigned to the to the monitor left right. Which it clearly was in your case, and it was in my case, but for some reason I'm not getting audio out of that. Yeah, I, yeah that's 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 weird. And, and again, I don't even know. I'm thinking, why did that, that that whole console app? Does it really need to be there? I mean, now that you, if you're using Luna, does it really need to be there? Technically, the console app, it, it, the Luna console. Well, I don't know. Would the Luna it's console? Everything, everything app but if you're using Luna there may you would wonder why why the console would app would still what would you use the console app even for what would it be for well right now for example to I'm assigning it to virtual one and two which I would like to do because then I have an extra mute and extra cue send and all that stuff um but you should be able to do that all in the IO of, of Luna but Luna only, but Luna, the Luna console only shows shows you the tracks that you created. It doesn't show you all the tracks on the console. It doesn't show are you, in the I/O matrix. It doesn't show you all the. No, no. I, 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 in Luna, I created four tracks right now, which means there's tons of stuff on the console that I don't control from Luna. I only control from Luna what I create in it. Right. So it's not a mirror of the console app. It can become a mirror of the console app if you create every channel on the console app. Got it, right. Right, right, right. So the thing is, the console should be mirrored in Luna as an extra mixer. 
There's the Luna mixer for the tracks in Luna, and then instead of calling up the console as, a, as an extra uh, uh, program, it should have the console app mirrored in Luna as a, oh, here's, by the way, your hardware console instead of the software console. Right. So, um, well, obviously... I guess, I guess people in the chat helping you along if you were a person that didn't have that which you wouldn't and you just came you know you just downloaded it and tried to start to use it you could really struggle with this i mean i'm trying to give advice to people that are getting into this and saying you know buy universal audio interface which is i will fully support that but um it's for anyone, I know now, when I started working, I started working in Cubase, uh, when Cubase didn't have audio recording. And then audio recording was added, and all you could do is levels and pants. Okay, right. so I was there from the very beginning of uh, digital audio on computers. So I, you know, then they added effects, then they added this, and bit by bit, they added more complexity. Nowadays, if you get into Cubase, Logic, Luna, any of them, it is incredibly overwhelming sure. of... Where do you even go? How do you even assign ins and outs? And to someone that, I'm going to say this uh, without trying to sound braggy, but who has a summa cum laude from Berkeley College of Music in sound design, which means knowing about this stuff. And man, I studied routing on big SSL consoles and all that stuff. If someone like me, who's done this for a living for a long time, can't find out how to freaking get sound out of the thing, it's not... It, it, it's going to be ultra frustrating for the guy that just said, oh, I have a guitar, I want to record my band, I'm dropping a thousand bucks on this thing, and it comes with free recording software. Right. Um, obviously, uh, I would hope that they have step-by-step -step videos, all that stuff, which I haven't found on the website, but I think they're here somewhere. company does. I mean, that's one of the reasons why I'm in business. Studio One doesn't. I, I have more training videos for beginners on Studio One than, than the company itself. So, most of our companies don't. You know what I mean? Unfortunately. So, you, when you say the guy at home that just wants to record his guitar with a, with a little bit of a backing track, it's people like you and me that can help that person. The company doesn't have any... Uh, it's, it's people like you, not, not people like me, because I'm not, I'm not stepping on your turf. Um, that's, too, no, 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 that's, no, too, that's, that's too complicated. No, 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 I understand what you said, but what you're doing here, trying to help people, you know, if it wasn't for us people doing it, you can't get help from the company, and, and that's not you. That's not unique to Universal Audio. That's with all the dog companies, because I work with all of them, so I know, <laughs> you know. Um, so yeah, but you're right, and, and they, someone first, I got to fix a few of these bugs, obviously, and then someone you would hope the company, but probably not, will have to create beginner's guide type video courses to help people through it. The, yeah, the and and it's it's. I mean, hope. You know, honey, the number one course that I sell is my Studio One Beginner's Guide. The number one course I sell by far, and, and it teaches what you're what you're trying to do. How do you plug the thing in and just route the, audio to the to the output yeah. so someone can record their guitar? I just spent two hours with Sophia on uh, on Skype the other day, trying to get uh, her to assign ins and outs uh, with her. Um, universal audio interface in um, uh, Logic, and I didn't know Logic, so we spent, you know, a good two hours trying to get her even started to work, and she just sent me a um, a screenshot today of, you know, some tracks and nicely colored and cleaned up, and she, she's getting into it, and I said, look, this is a massive thing, just trying to, I would, I would dare to go into Luna or anything, and try to start working without a manual, because I do have experience. If you don't have experience, um, there's no way you can do this without someone like you um, uh, and the manual and some videos and stuff like this. So guys out there, if you get in, if you want to get into Luna, check out Home Recording Made Easy. Um, uh, David's going to go into stuff like this and he's probably going to have uh, beginner's manuals for that, but also... Yeah, no, without a doubt. Yeah, and yeah, if any of your viewers ever need any help with that kind of stuff, intro level stuff to recording, I'd be glad to try to help anybody. And I'm not, you know... 
they can just go to my website, shoot me an email, yeah. and I can try to help. But them. you have studio, you have Studio One. You've got them all. I mean, and you help people exactly with that stuff. If you look, I could do it. I can spend uh, five days learning Luna and then making twenty videos on it. And you can see, I can do this live. I can do. Um, I mean, in high quality with the freaking green screen with shit behind me, I can do all this stuff. But my channel is doing guitar stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah, right. So, right. so, so I'll, I'll focus on the on the guitar stuff and wearing silly, as Michelle just pointed out, uh, Katuru shirts. Um, uh, but uh, I, I'm personally, I thought, well, let's get into Luna and maybe um, record just my videos with it, like you know, two three tracks. Um, and it might be easier to record in there, but realistically, um, by it uh, 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 changing things in the console that I set up in the console five times, and then it goes back and checks at Luna, and then sets it back, and not I just hi just hiding the freaking output option for the main thing, uh, that turns me off. Yeah, no, I, I mean, believe me, I, you're right. I mean, I, I can understand why someone would just say, "Screw it, I'm going back to whatever DAW I was using." Uh, also, also, what I, I wanted to uh, do, uh, I wanted to change the size of uh, the uh, the uh, uh, timeline. And when you go into uh, navigation, there's zoom in audio, zoom out audio, zoom in, zoom out, all that stuff. But it's referring to an American keyboard. Right. Even though very clearly my Mac knows I have a German keyboard. So. It is set up for American key commands on an American keyboard. So the key commands in the um, in the uh, menu that drops down from the top. You know, when in the back you see what key commands to use. Yes. Yeah. They're all pointless to me because there's they're for a keyboard I don't have. And I'm sorry when a company when a small you know, Chinese company releases something. I understand that. When Universal Audio releases something, knowing full well that the world is going to try to download this and use it, it is ready for release when those menus show you the key commands for your country. Nothing else. I'm sorry. It's not ready for release if the zoom in and out is saying command squiggly bracket, uh, but on mine it's plus and u. You know, it's it's it it can't help me. Also, where is um where can I pick up my uh, uh, do my own key commands? If they want to convince people to come from a different DAW and use Luna, um, I think in uh, Studio One from Presonus, there are actually um, presets for someone coming from Logic, someone coming from Cubase, right? Key commands, yep. all your key commands will change, and you can program your own. You can make them whatever you want. And that is essential because you, you're talking about someone working in Luna, very likely coming from n not be being beginners, because realistically, someone who's got an X4 or whatever, you know, they're not beginners. So this right. is catered primarily to make people who already have invested in the infrastructure of Universal Audio to use their DAW, which is better integrated with their hardware, so they're coming from Cubase, Presonus, Logic, uh, or Pro Tools, which means why not offer them to you to continue working with their key commands, or at least um, making their own, which I cannot, I, ha I cannot find in settings or preferences or anywhere. Yeah, so I'm gonna go with. Very sorry, Universal Audio. It's um, the key command thing and, and a couple of other things, not ready. I'm not even gonna go and try to look into other things. Um, if if this stuff isn't there, I'm not gonna go and and learn new key commands. If for by now 30 years, I've customized my Cubase to have a certain workflow. I want to take my workflow and apply it in Luna. So, not not gonna happen. 
Uh, okay. That means... Oh, sorry, 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 couldn't help you more. Well, it's all your fault, David Vignola from Home Recording Made Easy. Don't, don't go to that channel because it's all his fault that Luna is not ready. <laughs> Exactly. I had, um, I mean, th there's a, there's a, there's a test for these things. Like I, um, I had the, uh, boss, um, I'm gonna make myself big for the people here. Um, I had the boss GT 1000 and I was supposed to make, I mean, sorry boss, you know, love you guys, but I uh, was supposed to make a video about that. Um, and it took me 28 minutes on this modeler to find out, uh, how to change an amp. I mean, the most basic thing you want to do, you know, change out your amp model. And it took me, I, I was looking at the interface, I played with it for 28 minutes and I could only find out because I had, I opened the manual. We're talking about the most basic, basic thing. Um, and then I tested it and I took Michiel, who, um, you know, we can argue about that, but Michiel is absolutely brilliant uh, in terms of intelligence. I mean, he's a doo-doo head in terms of other things, but Michiel, in terms of technology and stuff, he's, he's a very, very intelligent guy. And I put him in front of it, and after eight minutes, by accident, he hit the button that does it. Well, yeah. <laughs> in eight minutes is still extremely too long to have an amp modeler and changing the amp model. Uh, there are six or seven buttons at the bottom, and it's the one to the very, very right, which you have to push and then turn. So, and I could see him even after that, he instinctively was grabbing another button on the interface, the bigger one, which is only for, for volume. So the thing is, if you have a big ass, vol uh, a big -ass button on the interface, uh, that smack on the pedal, you would think it's the main button, but it's not. And even after he figured it out three or four times, he was reaching, <laughs> there he goes in the chat, um, thanks Michio. Um he was reaching for that big ass button. And that taught me that the GT1000 is clearly misdesigned in terms of user interface. Right. So having someone like you or me struggle to get basic stuff happening um, is a clear indicator that maybe it's not quite there. I mean, just looking, this is really bugging me, just looking for the output assignment of the master fader is something that's very, I mean, that's like the first thing you do. And it is, and it is from three locations where it could be, which is in the console right above the fader, where it's not, in the timeline view, uh, where there's an output assignment on every track other than the main, there it's not. Then you go to focus, you have to un you have to click on output, and all of a sudden, there it pops up. That is, it makes no sense. Maybe there's a bug that it's not going to my monitor like it should be and I can forgive that bug because that might literally be just a mistake or whatever um, but that user interface thing is not happening sorry Universal Audio let's look at it again in six months when all of you have been guinea pigs Like I can't, I can't leave Cubase because other than Studio One, who recently did that, uh, Cubase is the only DAW that has a fully featured drum editor. Right. Like editing, right. editing drums in a keyboard timeline is is not going to happen for me. Um, uh, Cubase is more than recording; it's uh, creating, it's composing, and uh, just like. Pro Tools is an environment where you record. It's a production environment, not a composition in environment. That's right. And uh, right. Cubase is, for me, it's both, because it's much stronger on the whole MIDI side and all that. Um, 
And Studio One, because it's it's built by ex uh, Steinberg employees, have very, very, very uh, human, it has a very Feel to it. Yes, and, and, and they did add that drum editor. I also talked to them a couple of years ago and said, please add the drum editor, and then they did, which was great. I mean, I haven't really looked at it in detail, but it's the only other one that has that. So I'm assuming that the MIDI functionality in Luna is basic. I see Luna more as a Pro Tools replacement rather than um, a Logic and uh, Studio One and Cubase replacement. It's a production environment or mixing environment rather than a creation environment. I would agree. I, I think it's more. I think Luna's intended more for, like you said, the recording of using it, using their plugins as, as in unison technology, and getting getting recording with some basic mixing functionality. I don't think it's intended, at least in, in this stage, to be a full on, you know, music creation tool with it's, MIDI it's, and all the other stuff. I, don't, I think there's yeah. a little bit of that, but it's not. That's not going to compete at the level of something like Cubase. It's likely a recording and mixing tool, and. I was going to see it as that, but I'm going to stop right here, given the fact that I couldn't even get audio out of it. Yeah. Because I don't know, it's, that means I will very likely hit other bugs and get very frustrated and waste my time, uh, which we all have time right now, but, you know, not that much. Okay, David, thank you so much. I'm going to say bye-bye to everyone out there, because I now have to bring the X, which is a dog, uh, over to Leslie, who just came home. Um... There's going to be a video tonight about, I don't know, something that, uh, I think Mythos Pedals at NAMM or something. Pretty funny video. I turned all of them on at the same time. You! Um, uh, thanks to everyone in the chat. Thanks, Amanda, as always, for uh, monitoring and kicking people out and uh, Michiel. Um, what's the background? Slug yoga? Yes, the background is slug yoga. You stupid, stupid woman. <laughs> it's ferrofluid. That's what it's called. It's pretty damn cool. Wait a second, I give you the ferrofluid by itself. Where is it? Uh, Hyperdeck 2, here we go. There you go, ferrofluid. It's kind of cool. Um, spend 150 bucks on that, to have that. <laughs> I think I spent probably a thousand bucks on backgrounds. <laughs> and why not? Why wouldn't we? You know, we're professionals. So go to, uh, if you want to, you know, get started with uh, a software, go to Home Recording Made Easy. Great channel, David and I, we're, we've been friends for a long time. Um, check out his lessons and there's packages again, buy and all that. You know, buy David's package. It's a good package, if you know what I mean. Um, and uh, I'm out. I'm going to see what I do with the rest of the day. Um, and uh, I'm going to hit the buy, buy button. Thanks for the stream, which really helped none of you. <laughs> Okay, bye, David. Um, apparently, uh, we they want to see X first. Xy, come here. X, come here. Come, come here. Yeah, we're going over to mommy. Come here. Here's X. Oof. Say goodbye to the people. The people are there. No, there. Say goodbye to the people that learned nothing about Luna. Bye. No, no. <laughs> okay, we we turn this off now. <laughs>